Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright at here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning in to my latest video. It's actually a compilation of two patients I treated uh, earlier today. Uh, they're both paediatric um, patients, so uh, both children. Um, they're being, the first patient here actually suffers from chronic wax impaction. They have to return every nine to 12 months to have their ears cleaned. And it's a combination of earwax and dead skin, dead keratin. The telltale signs of the patient is itchiness and irritation in the ear. And of course, um, ignoring mum when mum calls her because the wax doesn't also impact her hearing. They had, a, they had previously also suffered from glue ear, which is a, a buildup of uh, a viscous fluid behind the eardrum. So behind the eardrum, you have the middle ear, and the middle ear is connected to the back of the nose via a tube called the eustachian tube. And that tube acts as the pressure equaliser in the ear and also a drain pipe. So any fluid that accumulates behind the eardrum in the middle ear can drain away. And that, as children, children are very prone to have blocked eustachian tubes. Um, the eustachian tube in adults is about three or four millimetres, so in children it's even narrower. And also in children, this eustachian tube, um, its orientation, its plane is uh, more or less horizontal. Whereas in adults, not only does the eustachian tube widen over the years, but it becomes more vertical, so gravity also helps to allow the fluid to drain. So their glue ear has now resolved, and they just have to come back regularly to have their ears clean. You can see the eardrum nice and healthy there. We performed a pressure test just to make sure there's no neg negative middle ear pressure, no blocked eustachian tube or fluid, and the pressure test showed good eardrum mobility, middle ear mobility. So I didn't have to use um, suction here. I uh, just used the jobs and horn and we used it as a gentle, uh, not a shovel, uh, a spoon if you want to call it. And we just gently scooped out uh, the wax from the ear canal. There was some residual soft wax on the roof of the ear canal. We just left that because to remove that we'll have to scrape the ear canal. We don't want to do that, especially in children, it's going to be uncomfortable. This is the patient's left ear. They're also, they weren't suffering from itchiness or irritation on this side, but they did feel that they weren't hearing as well on this side. Quite often with this patient, um, it, when they're at school, they, they generally struggle to hear the teacher when they've got a wax buildup and they find that they're having to lip read a lot more and sit closer to the front of the class. And again, that's a telltale sign for the patient to have their ears clean. So again, we managed to remove that plug of dry wax skin using the Jobson horn. Just some residual wax just laterally so because it's lateral in the uh, cartilaginous portion it's not it's semi-sensitive so we can put a bit of pressure on there on the bony part we've got to be careful that's where it's really sensitive the inner two thirds and we managed to clear th this um young child's blocked ears and she's ready to go and it started we, we joked with her as well says oh when mum wants you to do the homework now and um, or it's your turn to do the washing, you've got no excuse. Now, with children, whenever you perform earwax on children, you have to make it into a game. They can be very anxious, very nervous. Also, the parents can be equally as anxious and nervous, believe it or not. And that anxiety, um, it kind of filters through um, to the child. So I always make it into a game with the child. Um, whenever I look in the ear initially, I do say, oh, it's going to tickle a little bit, but you have to promise me you don't laugh too much. And it really just puts them at ease. And for them, a, a, straight away it becomes a game. They don't want to laugh, they don't want to laugh. And <laughs> reality is it doesn't always cause the ear to tickle, but because you've mentioned that, they are anticipating it to, to, to tickle, and therefore they're really trying hard not to laugh. And before I go in with the suction probe or instrument, I kind of get them to put their palm out, and I show them what it will feel like and we put the suction against the ear so they can hear the noise. So this is the, the second patient. This patient had a lot softer wax. There wasn't really an opening for me to remove it using a Jobson horn or heel. So we just use suction but I'm using a fine end gauge here. And there's a lot of keratin buildup as well. So I've removed the the more lateral plug of dry oh sorry wet wax and keratin. You can see the ear down there in the distance but there is a bit of Dead skin here on the anterior canal wall laterally, just going to remove that. And there's a uh, softer plug of wax a bit deeper in the ear, kind of mid canal, probably half a uh, centimetre and a half into the ear. Um, we're just going to gently remove that as well. And the patient was so, so still. And when we're doing the procedure, I kind of say to them, you have to imagine you're being a, you're, you're a scarecrow here. You have to be really, really still. And again, their emphasis is on not laughing and giggling. 
because I free will empty them and it may tickle and also to stay as still as possible it does become a game and quite often when, you, when you're able to condition a child like that they're very cooperative it's not always the case you get some children who naturally just don't want anyone anyone near them not let alone me putting an instrument in the ear um, to remove the wax I don't want anyone to even look inside the ear and, but with a bit of time in the appointment room you, you can kind of work on that and it's very seldom that I'm not able to perform a procedure on a child. Uh, eventually, we can condition them. But obviously, it's a lot more tricky and complex than um, your normal procedure. So the left ear, it was semi-blocked, just like the first um, client as well. And we just managed to remove that blockage. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.